Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Eddie Hill, and today we'll be reviewing another Transformer this week, and it's none other than Transformers Robots in Disguise Strong Arm. And this is a 2015 Activator Strong Arm. I don't have the Activator to show it off with. But yeah, yeah we're going to talk about Strong Arm. She was a Cybertronian police officer back on Cybertron. But she had a cool Cybertronian mode, and then when she got to Earth, she got this cool police pickup truck mode, which I loved about Strong Arm. She is probably one of the most unique characters of the 2015 Robots in Disguise, and I'm so glad to be adding her to my collection of Transformers here. I got this figure off of eBay, I think it was for 10 bucks, and I don't regret picking this up. But now it's been a minute, we're going to look at Strong Arm herself. She rolls very well for a 2015 Activator figure. We can use this gun in the place of the Activator, it's just going to be like this. And see, she does this, she stands, her wheels stand up, and she comes like a monster truck police car. Oh, that's cool, right? Definitely love these activator figures. But now that we're done with the, the activator gimmick, we're going to get down to comparisons in her vehicle mode. Next to another figure I got transformed into vehicle mode. Here is the 2015 Robots in Disguise Bumblebee. So I do own Bumblebee. I don't got Drift, I don't got Grimlock, and I don't have any of the other bots. But now we're going to transform Strong Arm into a robot mode, which is very simple. And I got this transformation memorized. I'm just that good with transformations. I had to mess around with her the whole week to keep track of her cool transformation gimmick. And she's probably one of my favorite Robots in Disguise characters right now. And I'm so glad to own a figure of her. But now, we're going to transform her, which is very simple. Disconnect the legs, flip them down. You can plug these back in for her vehicle mode. And flip this down. And this is a good 2015 Robots in Disguise figure. I'm so glad to own a strong arm in my collection. She is amazing looking. The paint and sculpting on this figure is really amazing. No elbow articulation due to the gimmick. Does have some knee bend here. Not much and no ankle tilt. And she stands pretty well. But now that we're done with messing around with her robot mode, let's compare her with some other robots in disguise figures I own. Of course, we're going to compare her with the 2015 Bumblebee that I also own from the same series. And she is a little bit bigger than this Bumblebee I own. Might be the Legends one for all I know, or something scaled up a bit bigger. Here she is with the only other female bot we had in the show. It's Windblade. Why not? And, of course, her fellow Autobot, Sideswipe. And, yeah... She is in the same sky scale as Sideswipe here. Definitely glad to be adding her to this collection. She is amazing. Will I pick up any more of these? Yes. If I could find more of these 2015 Robots in Disguise, I will pick more up. I do want to track down Drift. I do want to track down Grimlock and fix it. And who else? Um, uh, maybe... Ratchet as well, but other than that, those are the main ones that want to own Autobots and collect all the Decepticons as well. But this, so this is a fun line of figures. I'm definitely glad to be adding this to my collection. But before we put her on the shelf, we have a gun that she can use to defend the piece. And yeah, and yeah she's got a blaster that will work for her, and she can defend the piece from the Decepticons. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, 
And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.